Good morning, dear students. Now we are going to read together Sherlock Holmes, Chapter 5. Please open your books. Mrs. Stracker left the room and Holmes said, Inspector, I'd like to see where the body was found. And do you know if there was any wind on the night of the murder? The inspector said, No wind, but there was heavy rain, Mr. Holmes. So, it couldn't have been wind that blew the coat into the bush. Someone must have put it there, Holmes said. We left the house and went to where the body of John Stracker had been found. Holmes looked very careful for any clues that might help him solve the murder, because the clues would help him solve the murder. The inspector was carrying a small bag. What is in that bag you're carrying, inspector, I asked. I know how Mr. Holmes works, doctor, the inspector replied. I have collected as many clues as I can. Then the doctor collected many clues as much as he can. I have in this bag a boot that Mr. Stracker wore on the night of the murder, a shoe from Fitzroy Simpson, and an old horse shoe from Silver Blaze. These clues were collected by Gregory. Holmes was delighted. Excellent, he said. The inspector smiled, pleased by the compliment. I do not think, he said, that you will find anything here. Turn the page. I have looked and looked and I think I have found all the clues that are to be found. Suddenly, Colonel Ross whispered something in my ear. Why is Mr. Holmes on his hands and knees? On his hands and knees, he asked. Before I could reply, Holmes explained. Yes. Hello. What's this? He held up a tiny piece of wood. Then Holmes was searching for more clues and he found a tiny piece of wood. Well, what is it? Asked Inspector Gregory. It's a match. Half burned here in the mud, Holmes answered. I must have missed it, Mr. Holmes. I'm sorry the inspector apologized because Holmes himself found another clue. He looked embarrassed by his carelessness. Don't feel bad. I was actually looking for it, Holmes told him. You expected to find a match, the inspector asked, very surprised. Yes, I, I thought I would, Holmes said. Colonel Ross, who had been thoughtful for some time, said, Okay, now Colonel Ross is going to ask an important question for Sherlock Holmes. Do you think I should cancel Silver Blaze from the list of names of horses running in the Wessex, si Wessex Cup? He's asking Sherlock Holmes if he would cancel Silver Blaze's name. No, Colonel, keep the name on the list, Holmes told him. Then he asked, Colonel, why did you call the horse Silver Blaze? This is another important question. Why was the horse called Silver Blaze? Colonel Ross answered, Because of a white mark on the horse's face. It's between the eyes, the colonel explained. Turning to me, Holmes said, Come, Watson, let's go for a short walk. We set off along a path, leaving the inspector and the colonel behind. What do you think, Holmes? I asked. I think we need to find the horse, Holmes replied. You think the horse is still near here, I asked. Then Holmes believed that the horse is still near here. Yes, I do believe. Why? Because horses like to be with other horses. Nobody has seen Silver Blaze. Even the horse thieves would not steal such a famous horse. Why? Because they wouldn't be able to sell it. They... They would know that the police would be looking for it. I think Silver Blaze is at one of two farms, Capleton or King's, King's Pyland. As we walked, Holmes kept his eyes on the ground. One of the reasons for this walk, Watson, is to see if we can find the footprints of Silver Blaze. Now they are looking for the footprints of Silver Blaze. The rain on the night of the murder made the ground soft, so the footprints should still be here. We walked along the path for a while and then suddenly Holmes shouted, Look there! 
near the path on the right were the footprints of a horse. They found the footprints of a horse. Holmes took Silver Blaze's old horseshoe and put it in the footprint. It was an exact fit. It was the same. Let's follow the footprints and see where they lead. Watson, I say, Holmes, they are going to King's Pyland. I, ex I exclaimed. Holmes gave me one of his thin smiles. Yes, he said, you know, Watson, being a detective is like playing the best game in the world. It's an occupation full of surprises. And this game has just started. For Holmes, being a detective is like playing at the best game in the world. Suddenly, it was my turn to shout, Look, Holmes, there are the footprints of another horse. There are two horses, and the footprints are in a circle. Well done, Watson, Holmes said. Let's follow the prints. See, they are going away from King's Pyland now. Okay, we finished that chapter. Let's check the comment we have. You think the horse is still near here? Yes, I do. Who asked this question? Watson asked this question to Holmes. Why? Because Holmes believed that Silver Blaze was at one of the two farms, Capitan Farm or King pa King's Pyland. Why did he think so? Because horses like to be with other horses. And also nobody had seen Silver Blaze. As well, the thieves wouldn't steal such a famous horse. Why? Because they wouldn't be able, able to sell it and the police would be looking for it. Then we have many reasons why Sherlock Holmes believed the horse was still near. Thank you so much for listening. Read the chapter to be able to answer the questions. Thank you so much.